dreams are for the night time. Days are wide awake. Visions are for crazy men. Not me, for goodness sake, but I'm seeing things. I'm seeing things. I'm seeing things. Believe me, I've never seen before. But the little things deceive me. Like when you threw me out the door I couldn't believe my eyes As the jury reached a verdict We have your honor Find the defendant Not guilty oh The court is adjourned Ace All oh, right Those guys would croak if they... Really, Mr. Eckenberry, the trial's over. Any further conversation between us would be completely redundant. Miss Fields will go with you to get your possessions from the bailiff. You were brilliant, Dad, especially. Get the car. I'd have called guilty, man. Not guilty. Not guilty? Fast Eddie Brickenberry is not guilty? Mm-mm. The man was born guilty. No hard feelings, Mr. Redford? Uh, no, no, of course not. Mr. Sullivan, can I ask you a question? How could he be not guilty, Eddie Brickenbrack? I mean, he, he, he could be no guiltier if he shot the man on the 6 o'clock news. How did Riffin blow this one? Mr. Ciccone. Well, now, come on, you got to mix. To lose this, you got to be... No one wins or loses, Mr. Ciccone. This is not a talent contest. It's the obligation of the Crown to prove the guilt of the accused beyond any reasonable doubt. Huh. The jury obviously felt in this case that the Crown had failed to do that. The Crown had failed to do that. Failed to do that. There's an echo in here. Where's the car coming around by itself? Lou Ciccone's running his head. Oh, Ned Sutherland. I'm uh, kind of an associate. Uh, uh, Sutherland, relative? Son. Son. Yeah, I gotta go. I'll see you on the weekend, Mr. Ciccone. Oh, yeah, you're going too, eh? And I'm looking forward to seeing you there as well this weekend. Mr. I wouldn't miss it for the world. I'll be there with the wife. And how did you get invited to the Sutherlands Island for the weekend? What do you mean by that? I just asked a simple question. It's a simple question, but I mean the tone. What do you mean by the tone of that? I don't have a tone. Oh, yeah, you do. You got a tone. You got a tone that I would label snob. Don't be silly. It's just that Sutherland's weekends are, well, exclusive. Exclusive, huh? No Italians or what? No fat people with bald heads? Car is outside. Here. Take this. That's a portrait, Mr. Sutherland. Jerome, how the hell did you know it was me? I took my watch off. That $200 perfume? It's got to be you. I'll get you one of these days. Maybe this weekend. I'll be there. With bells on? No, you wear the bells. That way I'll know you're coming. <laughs> I get one of these, Marge. Huh? What makes you think you could drive that boat? You can't drive a car. Well, this is easy in a car, right? You don't have to be parallel parking. See you Monday. See you. Take it easy. Thanks a lot. Happy Bye. uh boating or whatever it is you people do. Lou, Lou, you all right? Yeah, yeah, I'm all right. I just hurt my head. That's all. What you have in here? It's so light. Hello. A pillow. What? What'd you pack a pillow for? Oh, you know I've got allergies. You know how these rich people are. Their pillows are probably stuck with duck feathers. Yeah, yeah, sure. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. It's just my head. Looks at this joint. They probably got feathers in their pants. Louie, look at this house. Isn't it beautiful? Come on, let's go. Come on, Lou. Yeah, Hurry up. Sure. Come on, Lou. Hey. Right. Must have developed a little amnesia on the way. I thought I was married and my wife helped me once in a while. Sure, watch him fall again. I'm Joseph. You must be the Chaconis. Yes, I'm large. May I help you with your luggage? Oh, yes. oh yeah, sure. Thank you. Come. We haven't got all day. Hey. Come with the luggage. What the hell have you got in here? Drapes and carpet for the room? Oh, just a few things. A few things? What'd you pack for me? What do you mean? I didn't pack anything for you. What? You didn't pack anything for yourself? No, you always pack for me. You always tell me you're fully capable of packing for yourself. Well, if you're going to start listening to me, you got to warn me. Sorry. Hi. Hey, how you doing? Fine, thanks. Uh, you are... Luciacone, I met you before at the courthouse. 
Uh, Front of Gazette? No, I don't think so. No, we've never met. No, we, we, we Would met. you hurry up, please? We're late already. This is my wife, uh, Marge. Marge, hi. Oh, He's a swell guy. He's a swell guy, bad memory. Oh. Dressing for dinner. Oh, good. I thought we'd have to eat naked. Sorry I was in your way there, Joseph. What are your names? Louie, this is gorgeous. Frankly, I like a little more live there. Well, don't worry about that. You'll take care of that in a minute or two. Well, Lou, you heard what the man said. Let's dress for dinner. Yes, sir. Why not? You got your clothes, right? This is darling, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it's beautiful. We look too good on me, though. Look at this. You got more stuff here than Joan Collins wears an entire season of Dynasty. But there's nothing for me, right? Well, the woman in my office said that if I wear any of these and mention the word buy, sell, or lease, that I get a big income tax deduction. Look, Louie, I saved two, three, four hundred dollars on these clothes. Oh, that's good. I said your fortune. Great, because you're going to need four hundred dollars for me to get the hernia operation with these oh. suitcases. Lou, now this is adorable. Oh, yeah. What do you think? Beautiful. Does huh? it come in basic black and extra large? Where are you going? I am going to go beg, borrow, or steal something to wear so I can eat tonight. I'm hungry after carrying your clothes upstairs. Why would he bring that slut into my own home, huh? Why? Well, why does he always do it? It's his idea of a game. Just don't let him beat you, mother. Just don't let him win the game. I will not take it, I tell you. Down. You're right, I'm calm. Hi. There's no ice! Joseph, damn you, there's no ice! Mr. Giacconi, you made it. Good to see you. Good to see you. I met you in the hall a couple of seconds ago, right? No, me, I've been here with mother all afternoon. Look, I I'm having a little uh, problem. Nothing serious, I hope. I forgot a couple of things, like my clothes. Hmm, that is a problem. Yeah. Maybe Joseph has something large enough for you. Joseph, is the butler the big guy? Right. It's pretty fat. I think it might be uh, a little too big for me, no? Compari, please. Yeah, sure. You got it with ice or what? Soda. Soda. Louis. He's not a waiter. He's my husband. Oh, I'm sorry. Excuse me. This is Miss Christie, uh, Mr. Sutherland's personal secretary. I think I uh, recognize you, Miss Christie. I saw you in the courthouse. Lou Ciccone, Toronto Gazette. I hang out there myself. How do you do, Mr. Ciccone? Great. Nice to meet you. Louis, where'd you get that suit? From the butler, Joseph. It's nice, isn't it? He's got lots of stuff, you know. He never throws anything out. The guy never heard of Goodwill. Looks great. Thank God, you know, he was thin in the old days, because uh, if it was what he wears now, it would have been too big for me. Just let it out in the middle, and it'll be perfect. Hi, how you doing? Evening, everyone. Good evening. Evening, mother. Good evening, Ted. Isn't your name Ned? No, my name is Ted. Always has been. When I met you, you said your name Good was... Good evening, uh... everyone. Good evening. Mother? Good evening, Ned. There's two of them. Oh, you must forgive them, Mr. Giacconi. They've been playing this little game ever since grade school. You guys must be murdered at the two-for-one sales, huh? Yeah, that's it. Stand up straight. We'll chop the three steps going down. Hey, Joseph. Hey, how you doing, Jerome? Everyone's looking dapper this evening. Thank you. Never saw you with a suit before. Very nice. Marge, this is uh, Jerome. Hi. Uh, and this is uh, Miss Christie. You know her. Jerome. Jerome runs the newspaper stand at the uh, courthouse. I buy my sugarless gum from Jerome every day. And three Snicker bars every day. Me? Yeah. Well, I give him away his gifts, Marge. <laughs> Should I get those drinks, very nice? <clears throat> she doesn't seem to be able to carry it off very well. What the hell is she doing, dancing or what? Mrs. Chico, would you just come here for a minute? Yeah, sure. Excuse me. I can't get my zipper done up, and there's no one upstairs to help me. Yeah. Ooh, that's what I call a dress. Just do it. Right. I'll do it. That's what I call half a dress. Talk about dressing for success. What do you want to be, Prime Minister? What is she doing here? She insisted on being here. You said this would be our weekend. My yeah. wife is a vindictive woman. She would do anything to prevent my happiness. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? <laughs> Hi. Good evening, my dear. 
Oh, you know Catherine, of course. Joseph, dinner, and another glass for my wife. Certainly, Mr. Sutherland. Thank you, Joseph. Excellent as always. Now, ladies and gentlemen, answer to the unspoken question on everyone's lips. Why are we here? Let me offer a toast to Miss Heather Redfern. Heather Redfern, brightest star to appear in the heavens of our legal system. You frighten me, Heather. You know why? Because whenever I encounter you in court, there's the ever-present knowledge that should I slip once, just once, you will pounce on that mistake to defeat me. It hasn't happened yet, but it will. It's inevitable. But I can't allow that to happen, Heather. I'm sorry. That's right, Mr. Ciccone, no one's been shot. This gun is loaded with blanks. <laughs> Mr. Sutherland, this is not my idea of a joke. Oh, you're right, Heather, this is no joke. It's not likely that H.R. Sutherland, Canada's most successful criminal lawyer, would shoot you in cold blood in front of ten witnesses. But for one moment, everyone at this table thought that's exactly what I had done. Yeah, I believe you. Oh. And that's the point of this weekend's game. Game? What game? What game? Murder. That's why I invited you here this weekend. Cross-section of ordinary people, varying social backgrounds. People have some involvement with the law. Think they might have some understanding of the workings of the criminal mind. But do we? Joseph, the envelopes. Mm. Mr. Ciccone, please, have patience. I will ask you not to open the envelopes until you're alone. All but two of the envelopes contain blank cards. Of the remaining two, one will tell its owner that he or she is the murderer. This gun, of course, is the weapon. The second card will tell its owner that he or she is the victim. God bless you. It's got like an allergy thing that comes once in a while. I'm sorry. Thanks. Anybody wearing, like, a cat or dog fur? Uh, how long will this go on? Try pulling your earlobe. It always works for me. On my ear. Okay. You know where it works for her, though. Uh, Joseph, can she have, like, a little uh, garlic tea with some parsley in it if it's not too much trouble? She kind of stands on her head and yodels. That's the big one. That's usually the end. Louis, there's a cat on her hair. Hey, there is. Look at this. You got a little cat on you. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll remove the cat, Mr. Chicken. He's got a cat. I have uh, very little else left to say anyway. So, keep your wits about you. Look for clues. And uh, I'm sure your deductive reasoning will tell us who the killer is by, um, by dinner Sunday night. So, good night. Happy hunting. Can we go to our rooms now? Oh, oh my allergies. I didn't get all the rules. I... Oh, I'm dying. Hey, this Joseph could dress, though, huh? This is something you find on the Masterpiece Theater person. Nice, huh? Only Mike will talk about your write-offs. Put that on their entertainment. I'll show you mine if you show me yours. Whatever happened to foreplay much? Come on, the cards. Oh, the cards. Oh, the yeah. You gonna open up? Uh, wait a second. All right, good. You open yours first. Then. I'll open mine after that. And then you'll show me yours, right? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, promise? I promise. Blank, what's that mean? That means you... It means I'm not a murderer and I'm not a victim. Let's see yours. Well, wait a second. You know, don't you have a little kind of guilt thing. I mean, he said very specifically we're not to open them or show them to anybody. Come on, I want to see it. Come on, let me see it. Come on, move. Hold it a second. This is my car. Now, wait a minute. Yours is blank, too. That's it. I'm not the murderer. You're not the murderer. 
And you're not the victim, and I'm not the victim. Oh, it happened already. Well, Come well, on, let's go. All right, let's. Oh, hold on. I can't go out like this. This is crazy. It's costume-like. You're right, and I can't go out like this. I gotta change. I got a beautiful outfit here, Lou. You go. Go on. I'm gonna wear this. You like it? I don't know. I feel like wearing it myself. I feel less self-conscious than this. Do you think no, I can carry this off? Come on, you look nice. You come think on, so? You look like the thin man's fatter brother. Right. Go. Oh, the thin man's fatter brother. You had the card. I read for him. Look, get out of here before anybody else comes and finds out you did it. Go on, hey. There's blood on his ch chest over here. What blood? Your blood or what? Sutherland. He's dead. He's dead? You killed him. I got the murderer's card, and I just did what it said. What did it say? Go into the dining room, get the gun, Go into the library, and Mr. Sutherland was just sitting there. What did he say to you? He said, go ahead. This is your chance to get even. So I said, here goes. And I pulled the trigger, and he fell out of his chair backwards. Oh, I just screamed. Right. How do you open that gun? I can't open it. Here, let me help you. Careful. All right, be careful. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh-huh. This is a... What is this? Is this a bullet or is this a blank? What? Yeah. That's a real bullet. You've been set up. We've got to do something. All right, okay, now. Somebody in this room has replaced... Blanks with real oh, bullets. What's he no, talking hold, hold up, hold up, hold up. We're going to proceed very much. Just calm down, please. We're going to be methodical about this. Methodical be damned. There's a murderer on this island. There is a murderer on this island. And he's right here in this room. And he is right here in this room. Oh. There's some kind of procedure. There's something that people do when something like this takes place, right? Uh, they call the cops. Okay, where the hell is the phone? The telephone has been disconnected for the game. The phone has been disconnected for the game. Somebody in this room will take a boat. There's no boat till Monday morning, also for the game. There are no boats until Monday, also for the game. Monday? That's two days. I'm not staying on this island for two days with a murderer. No. No, of course not. Who would? All right. I'm going to hold this gun until one of you is nice enough forward and say to the whole group, hey, call me weird, but I killed Mr. Sutherland, okay? I did it. Take your time. Take your time. Otherwise, you're going to blow the weekend. Somebody just come forward now, and we're here for two days. There's nobody going to talk. Eh? He's going to sit there, right? Okay. okay. Just go to your rooms. Just go to your rooms. Okay, go on, go on, go on. Just go. March. Take Heather to her room, please. Oh, excuse me just a minute. Why didn't you make me come on this weekend with these crazy nuts? These rich people with their fun and games shoot the host for dessert? All right, all right. Heather, take March to her room. Just take her to her room. Go ahead. Oh, no more weekends, okay? Tony, I must talk to you. I understand. It's really insensitive of me to ask somebody to come forward and say they did it in front of all these people. You did it, right, babe? No, no, I didn't do it. You didn't? Who did it, do you know? Jerome. Jerome? Wait a minute, isn't he blind? Well, yes, but that doesn't make any difference. He could still replace the blanks with real bullets. You think he could put... Yes. A blind man could put these bl blanks instead of... Uh, bullets instead of blanks? Oh, yes. I can't do it. Maybe he could. If he knew how to open it, he could do it. That's right. But, but he'd have to have some kind of reason, right? He had a good reason, the best reason in the world. He did. What was that? Ten years ago, Jerome was in a terrible car crash. He was blinded. But his wife and daughter were killed. Oh, the other driver was drunk, but HR defended him and got him off on a technicality. Jerome got no money for it. Not a cent. Oh. HR had a rare twinge of conscience and bought him that newsstand at the courthouse. He bought that, huh? And I think that's made Jerome hate him all the more. He's the killer. 
Why don't you get a vision so we can find out who the murderer is? I just put a quarter in my ear. My eyes will pop out and I'll get a vision for you, right? I don't know. I can't get a vision. It must be when I hit my head, something shook loose or something. I don't know what's wrong. One time you need a vision, you can't get one. I got a suspect, though. Who? Miss Christie said that Jerome was in a car accident one time. And Sutherland represented the other guy, and that out of revenge, maybe Jerome... I'm suspicious of him. When I came past his room, there was a light on. I saw it under the door. So? Only a man pretending to be blind would leave a light on. Or a man who is blind and doesn't know the light's on because he can't see the light. Great. There's violence. Come on. What are you going to do? Put one on your head and have a toga party? Louie, listen. You climb along these vines, right? Oh. Down to Jerome's no. window. Yes. I climb And I this? bet you anything you're going to see him down there watching TV. Come on. I'm not going to climb out this window. Don't look at crazy. Look at this. Gosh, what are you doing? You're nuts. I'm marry Johnny Wise, though. Okay, Louie. Easy now. I'm into the abyss now. Should I come out? Let me climb this mine by myself, all right? Lou, Louie. What? Jerome's room. It's the third one down. Okay. It could be the second one. Louie, check them out. Two, three, four, okay? Get inside. Just get inside. Of Stop it. Your father has just been killed. How right, did he even right. start? He's dead. Alive? I don't know what I've been through the past two years. Seeing you together every day. Knowing the pleasure he was getting watching me suffer. It's over now. Get out of here, Ted. Ted. I'm Ned. He's Ned? All right, Ned. Leave now. Well, let's go see what's on channel two. Fern, squeeze it and, and move it to the right. That little eye. Ah! Ah! Mr. Ciccone, Mr. Ciccone, how dare you peek through my window? Come on, Red Fern, we are not peeking through your window. I won't say anything to Marge. After therapy, I imagine it'll be something you'll want to tell her yourself. Now, I want to get on a stool and see you naked. I want to see a naked woman I get paid TV. Oh! I used to wrestle bears. Oh, at the circus, eh? No, just for fun. Fun. Why did you do it, Joseph? Do what? Throw the body in the lake. I, I saw you, remember? That was no body, Mr. Giacconi. I was dumping the day's garbage into the lake. Oh, it's the garbage. I'm sorry. I understand. So you just go out every night at 12 o'clock and you throw the garbage right into the lake. Aren't you worried about pollution or ecology or anything like that? I'm a night person, Mr. Giacconi. I do my best work at night. I'm just going to go up and see how the body's doing upstairs since he's up there and not in the lake, okay? I'm All sure. right, Mr. Giacconi. I did dump the body in the lake. That is probably illegal, Joseph. And it was a very stupid thing to do. My master's wish. He said to me if anything ever happened to him, he would wish to be spared the indignity of a public funeral. Well, it's not going to be too dignified when the cops drag the lake and find your master with bubbles in his mouth. I do as I'm told, Mr. Giacconi. Yeah, well. Go to your room, Mr. Giacconi. These sandwiches are for tomorrow's picnic. Picnic? 
You planning a little picnic tomorrow? Why don't you just pass on the picnic? Because the people are terrified in this place, okay? I do as I'm told. Good night, Mr. Giacconi. I might as well go get my rest because I'm going to be terrified in the morning. You know what I mean? Take it easy, Jackson. Tuna here. Oh. Here you go. Come on. You like that, huh? I, I myself can't eat the tuna. I find it a bit acidic. You want some milk? Meow. I don't have any 2%. This is a marginalized. Is it okay for you? You don't care about cholesterol, do you? You would be very good. Here we go. What a nice baby you are. Wish my wife wasn't allergic to cats. I'd take you home. Okay. Have a little drink there with it, huh? Here you go. Right. Yeah. Thank you. Here, drink this. enough to drink. Uh, shut up, the both of you. The hell really could pick winners. Look, you, look at her. That's what you would have been in 20 years. A dried up, empty nothing with your hair pulled back in a French bun. Living on lies and false hopes. I know the signs, sweetie, believe me, I've seen them come and go. Well, nobody's got them now. You killed him. Oh, please, don't make me laugh. Look, as far as I'm concerned, you just as easily could have killed him. That's ridiculous. Is it now? Sitting in his office day after day, watching the women he used get younger and younger while you got older, oh. Oh. knowing you could never have him again. God, you've been carrying a torch longer than the Statue of Liberty. Is that true? Of course it's true, and you, you bird brain, you were on the way out. Maybe you found that out and you killed him. Oh, that's not true. Get out of here, the both of you. You make me sick. Fascinating, isn't it? Oh! What? Sutherland, you're alive. I know I picked the right man to chronicle this weekend. You see right to the heart of every situation, don't you? You had the blood on your chest. I saw it, and you had the real bullets. How the hell did you pull this off? Bulletproof vest, blood bag. I must say, everyone's uh, rather agitated about it. Yeah, yeah. It's good for you. You like it, huh? You like watching people run around like rats in a maze. That's enjoyable, right? Good analogy. I like that. Yeah, yeah, sure. They like it in there, too. They're, they're suffering, those three women. They love you. Why? I don't know. Love is blind. What I... about Redfern? She's thinking that she killed you. If you were to ask Miss Redfern about this at some time in the future, she would say this weekend has been one of the most exciting times of her life. This is a sick and corrupt game, and it's over right now. Calm down, Mr. Ciccone. Morality's relative, isn't it? No, no, it's not, no. And you know what's going to happen now? I'm blowing a whistle on you because I found you, right? Let's be fair here. Without evidence? I'd love to see how you convince this jury of your peers. I got the evidence because you're here, right? Okay. Hey, Sutherland, let's Lights be fair. Out. Hey, Nighty night. So I hope you're not afraid of snakes. Snakes? Good morning, Redfern. I'd like to discuss something with you of a legal question, if I could, seeing as you are a lawyer. It has nothing to do with the domestic situation that happened last night. The fact that I slept on the couch, it has to do with allaying your fears of having murdered... Mi oh, Miss Christie, how are you doing? Sit down, sweetheart. Would you like a little orange juice? I only juice? came down for some orange juice. You're going to get some sweetened or unsweetened? That's fine. Good. Would you listen to me for a second? I'm having difficulty relating to people. Hi, boys. I'll talk to you, too. Listen, you know what happened to me last night? Uh -huh. I was hungry, right? So I came downstairs to get myself a little snack. Someone having a swim? 
I thought I heard a splash. Just Mr. Ciccone here was having trouble holding his juice. I could smell that coffee on the way upstairs. Sit down. Last night, I was hungry, so I went down to the kitchen, right? And... March! March! Oh, my gosh. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't think you were blind. Give me glasses and cane. Suggest anything? You okay? I don't know. I can't see. I'm blind. You're blind? You were blind before, Jerome. It must be amnesia. Oh, he's okay. He's a kid, uh, a regular Bob Hope. Sit down here. Well, nothing's broken. Okay. What are you, a nurse? Uh, St. John's ambulance trainer. Oh, okay. How's this? Louis, I thought he was the murderer. But that's what I'm trying to tell everybody, okay? There is no murderer. What? What? Got your attention. He, he, it's all a thing. He, he, he's alive. Mr. Chicone, what are you talking he's about? I did Look, that's that. impossible. That's that. not impossible. Appearances can deceive Ted. No, I'm Ned. He's Ted. You put your hair on the right side, and he puts his it's all hair on the left. Whatever. The point is that your father is alive, okay? Mr. Sutherland is living, isn't he, Joseph? Yes, he's living and he's breathing, okay? I saw him. You saw him alive. You yes, saw him. Yes, I did. You got some proof? Proof. You want proof? I'm going to give you... Let me have a little juice, okay? I had difficulty this morning. Okay, here we go. We're going to get our proof. Everybody in the kitchen. Come on. That includes you, Joseph. I ordered toast. Don't worry. You'll get it in a minute, okay? This is so confusing. All right, okay. Bring him right in here. Oh. Okay, Miss Christie, take this spot over here. This is it? We're all here? We're all met? Huh? Where's Mother? Oh, she's probably just, uh, had too much sun. Proof is what we want, right? Okay, here we go. And the light goes on. It's just an empty fridge. Very observant. It is an empty refrigerator. However, last night there was an enormous platter of turkey sandwiches in here and the occasional tuna thrown in for good measure. You know who made those sandwiches? Joseph made those sandwiches. I never made any sandwiches last night. You see, Joseph has excellent taste in clothing, but he is a liar. They're not there now, are they? No, there was a lot of sandwiches in there. Take my word for it, okay? But I like you. There was a big, fat tray of sandwiches in there. Where did they go? These sandwiches were eaten by Mr. Sutherland. He's chomping on turkey right now and watching us, even as I speak, in that room. Hey, Jaconi, listen, I think you better lie down, okay? Had a rough night last night. You're suffering from a little delirium. He, he's dead. We saw him. We saw the blood. Yes, but Ted. No, no, I'm Ned, he's Ted. Excuse me. Okay. The guy without the alligator is Ted, all right? No, 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 I'm Ned. I'm Ted. You're... Listen, Ted, Ned. It's easy to fake blood, okay? But there was no pulse. She listens. This woman I can get along with. I like her. Listen. Who took the pulse? Look to your left. Your left. Look right, to your left. Her right. Thank you. You're right. Look to your right. That's Joseph. He took the pulse. Joseph is a liar. Has someone checked on the body? What, is he blind? What? Oh, oh wait. All right, wait. I'm, look, I'm very sorry, okay? Let me explain to you, Jerome. There, there is no body. Not in the house. Last night, I took the body out and buried it in the lake. But you can't do that. That's evidence. Still lying after all these years. She believes him. Listen to me. He is not dead. He is alive. I saw him. He talked to me. I heard him. I talked back at him. There was a cat here Mr. who could tell you the truth. This is true. She's got it. This is true. He is alive. Repeat after me. He's alive. He's got it. The smarter brother. You got it. Well, if he's alive, let's go find him. This must be part of the game. Hey, let's go find him. Okay, let's go find him. We're going to play a game, and I'll be your partner, okay? Kids. Sick with the games. What about having a pot cheesy? Christy, can I? Come here. Uh, the new game is that you take Jerome and she's with me, okay? okay. First one to find him gets uh, a, a new hairdo. Listen, Marge, we gotta go find that body. You told me he was alive. Well, he's alive. We gotta go find the other bodies. Uh, Mrs. Sutherland, she's dead. What? You know that vision you ordered? Mm. 
the king. And what kind of vision was it? I mean, what happened? The thing with the bricks, it goes around like in a circle. Yeah. And it's like about uh, three feet high. Yeah. And like it's got a bucket you pull and... A, a well. A well, that's you right. Know, you want to get out of the city more often. Come on, let's see if we can find it. You're going to have a well here? Yeah. we got a faucet in there. Lou, there it is. There's the well. Come on. Now, what are we going to do? Okay, you're going to get in the bucket, and I'm going to let you down with this this one here. Now, wait a minute. I'm not going down to the bottom of the well. It's dark and clammy in there. If I go down there and find the body, I'll have nightmares for the rest of my life. You think I'm going to get in there, and you're going to let me down? This is like a pulley effect. you got to have more weight than the person who's going down there. Well, get help. Here you go. Call Jerome. He'll do good. What's the matter? You're afraid of water? No, I'm afraid of buckets. Redfern! You hate to ask her for help. So, oh, you decide oh, to apologize? Me apologize? You've got some nerve, Redfern. You were in bed with my husband. Chaconi, I was just sleeping. He happened to come into my room and get into my bed. What oh, could I do? you're always so innocent, aren't you? Okay, that's it. Come on, please. Let's not start in now, huh? Do me a favor. Just forget it. I gotta go in this bucket, all right? Redfern, Man, I want station. you to help me lower Louis down to the bottom of the well in this bucket. Oh, I'd love to, but wouldn't we have to tie him up first? I mean, he is pretty big. Well, he wants to go. He wants to go. I don't really want to go. I have to go, okay? I had a vision. Somebody died. Mrs. Sutherland, the wife, she's in here. They threw her in after they killed her. Oh, my God. Man your stations and be quiet, okay? Yes. Red for right. okay. okay. Okay, now, Louis. Now, this one takes you straight this tight. Okay, hold on, all right? Be careful, huh? You okay. be careful, okay? Because I'm going for the ride, all right? Okay. One, two, three. Okay, okay grab hold oh, of the oh. center. Oh. Okay, go. Okay. Okay, okay. okay. He weighs so much. How much does he weigh? About 200 pounds. 195! Oh, yeah, 195. This is really stupid for us to fight. I mean, last night was completely an accident. Oh, I know, but it's just this weekend. I mean, I'm so tense. These rich people make me nervous. Then you were in bed with him, and I got jealous. I know, but it was just an accident. Okay, okay. Slowly now, we're getting close to the water. Oh. But he really loves you. He's told me lots of oh, times. Oh, gee, that's really sweet of you to say that. Oh. <laughs> oh. Be careful around there. That well has been abandoned for years. I'm just uh, trying to find my comb here. I dropped it in with it. Thing. <sighs> Must be here somewhere. What do you mean abandoned? It's filled with water, isn't it? Lake water. They hit an underground river when they were digging the well. So what's wrong with lake water? Polluted. Polluted? I would recommend a tetanus shot when you return to the city. Okay, I'll get it when I get to the city. There is calamine lotion in the medicine chest. Tell him I lost him before. You are kneeling in poison oak. Poison oak. Tried the boathouse. I thought he might be there. And yeah, no one else found a trace of him either. Oh, Mr. Ciccone, did you have any luck? No, I'm afraid I didn't, Miss Christie. Uh, listen, as I got something to tell you, uh, Ted, Ned, your mother's dead. What? Sorry, I didn't. First my father is dead, then he is, and then my mother disappears, and now she's dead? If you're in on this with the old man, it's time you owned up. It's not a joke anymore. No, no, no. I'm not joking. You, your mother's dead. I, I thought I knew where the body was, but it's not there. I, I hate you! God bless you. Ch God bless I, you. I think that cat's in here again. Joseph, uh, you got any tuna fish in these sandwiches? Anybody eating tuna fish sandwich? I am. Let me have a little bit. Will you, Joel? Thanks a lot. Come here, baby. Come here. What's the name of that cat? Rocky. Come on, Rocky. Come on, Rocky. Mr. Giacconi, what are you doing? I want to see a cat about a man. Rocky! Hello, Mr. Sutherland. We'll be with you in a minute, okay? Mr. Giacconi? Hey, Louie. Sutherland, we're on to you, babe.
It's okay, you go ahead. It's all right. Let's go, come on. I need two years for that, right? Oh my God, Mother? Rita! What's going on? <gasps> I never meant it to turn out this way. Look, do me a favor, please. What? Just admit that you did it, okay? No! This whole elaborate thing was a plan so that you could kill your wife, cover up your tracks, and, and then people would say, hey, he couldn't have done it. He was dead. No, I loved my wife. Oh, yeah, you were mad for her. I noticed how much you loved her all weekend. Well, I wouldn't expect you to understand your, your self-important middle-class morality. The world is big, Mr. Ciccone. It's full of limitless possibilities. There are many, many different ways to love someone. There's many, many ways to kill someone, too, right? You set up this whole thing to kill your wife, and you know you did. Now, why does murder strike at the foundations of our society? Fear fear of who we really are. If any one man is capable of murder, then any of us is capable of murder. Beneath this thin tissue of sophistication, there are primeval mysteries to be plumbed, all of us. What is this? The rehearsal for the jury? It's a little premature, can it, okay? We're not interested. No, 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 no. That is what the, the, the staging of my death was supposed to do. It, it allowed me to, to observe your suspicions, your paranoia, all the feelings that you've suppressed all your life. And it began to emerge. Each one of you began to change before my eyes. You were all living in a reality that I had created. Excuse me just a minute, Louis. Don't scratch your hand. You're going to rub it raw. Where the hell is that calamine lotion then? I looked for it. I can't find it. And my experiment was a wonderful success until, until Rita's unfortunate. Jerome. You remember just before you fell? Before I was tripped, you mean? I'm sorry, Jerome. She didn't mean that. It's okay. You said that you heard a splash, right? So? So she thought it was you talking about the orange juice, but you were talking about something else. You did hear a splash, right? When you're blind, you hear noises. You smell things. Your senses are more acute. But what's your point? My point is that your senses are very acute, extremely acute, because there was a splash. You know what the splash was? The splash was Mrs. Sutherland being thrown in the well by little Mr. Sutherland over here, the body. loving husband. body was found in the well. Body was found in the lake, but ask Joseph. He knows all about the tributaries and all kinds of little things with the water in the well. He says that the well is connected in some way to the lake, isn't it, Joseph? You told me it was. So what you're saying is that when Mrs. Sutherland was pushed into the well, we were all sitting in the dining room having breakfast. This is it. Everybody except Mr. Sutherland. Except Mr. Sutherland, exactly. Would you just please tell us that you killed your wife and get it over with? No. Sit. You belong in an insane asylum! Ted, please, he's your father. Wait a sec. Jerome, how's your sense of smell? Good. Are you cute? Get off the smell thing. We've got to find a way to contact the police. What do you smell, Jerome? Give a little sniff in the air. Someone fried bacon and eggs this morning. And a little calamine lotion, I think it is. Exactly what I smell, a little calamine lotion. And God, I could have used some, I'll tell you that much. Excuse me, Miss Fields. Would you mind showing us your leg? Louie, don't you ever stop? What is that over there you're scratching? Uh, it's, it's a mosquito bite. It's a mosquito bite. Strange, because it looks a lot like what I got over here, which is poison oak. And the poison oak grows all around that well. And Mrs. Sutherland was killed. You know what I think? I think that you killed Mrs. Sutherland. You picked her up. And you threw in the well. Louis, everybody was right here. No, he's right. You know, I didn't notice her until after Jerome slipped, and I think she came into the room at that point, ran over, and, and checked his ankle. You know, I never thought I'd have to say this, but I'm very sorry, Mr. Sutherland. I hate your guts, but I'm sorry. You didn't do it. This feels did it. You killed her, didn't you? Yes, I killed her. Catherine. I killed her, Dad. I thought she'd killed you. 
She was so hateful towards you. She wouldn't give you a divorce. I, I thought she killed you because of us. Catherine, I, I have never asked her for a divorce. I never wanted one. I loved my wife. She loved me. She knew all about me. She knew I'd always come back to her. How could you ever thought that we could have a, a lasting relationship? <laughs> It was fun to pretend, but that's all it was. You said you loved me. Oh, I do. I love all my mistresses. I will take your case. This will be my most brilliant defense. I'm sure you won't get an acquittal, but I, I'm confident that I can get you out with five years. And with good behavior, you'll be out in two. And that, that's plenty of time to start a new life for yourself somewhere. No, you won't get away! Okay. See you right away. Nothing that time won't heal. Oh, my. I'm gonna need a volunteer to go get the rowboat and call the police. I'll, I'll go. go, I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. Jerome, you go. No, uh, you go, Miss Fields. No, she did it. Miss Christie, you go get the rowboat, okay? Get out of here quick. Come on, Ted. No, Ned. 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 Oh, what the hell? I'll go. Oh. Where'd you get that calamine and lotion? You know, babe? I'm hoping and wishing that the next apparition is the sight of you welcoming me home. It's hard enough living without having vision to the left and the right of you. They won't leave me alone. Give me a cool hard fact. I'm seeing things. When you threw me out the door, I couldn't believe my eyes. Da 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 da